uh, are you looking forward uh, to get married? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And then she was like, definitely. Bring me my red bag with my bad car! The duck face again. The fake lips. Bring me my red bag with my bad car! Bring me my red bag with my bad car! Bring me my red bag with my bad car! another Wednesday madness um our reaction video for today is gonna be another 90 day fiance reaction video so they're Anfisa and George this couple is pretty interesting couple let's move on to the video really traveled but George and I have been fighting a lot lately hopefully we get along today so I can pass my interview hey what we're going I'm going to get a wallet. Bring me my red bag with my makeup. Bring me my red bag with my red cup. Bring me my red bag with my red cup. Why do you have to say that? Oh my god. <laughs> she just, all of a sudden, she just turned into a monster. She was like, hey, where are you going? Bring me my red bag with my red cup. Who does that? <laughs> it's so funny. Can I have a key? Yes, you can have a key. <laughs> What is and she just and she just like throw the key at him. Like what is wrong with this couple? What is wrong with her? There's definitely something wrong with this couple. They're psycho. <laughs> George was late. We were late because of him. He's not very functional. You always have to wait for him. I hope it's not gonna be a big problem. We're going into this interview to show that's the red bug with a big cup! We're in love and happy, but starting it off with the fight is a bad example. Oh, so they're going to her interview for her green card. Interesting. Oh my god. So she just threw the phone again to George. And he's driving. How can he look at that? How can he use a phone and driving at the same time? Oh my god. The drug there is pretty nerve wracking. Arguing. Well, it is. About traffic and if we're going to be there on time. It is very important to me. I'm gonna get my green card and I'm gonna leave you. Even though she jokes about it all the time, in the back of my head, I'm... She jokes? You think she's joking? Um, I don't think so. What happens after she gets it? Did she just tell you? She's going to leave you. That's what will happen. That's what will happen as soon as she gets her green card. Oh my god, he's so stupid. I feel that the green card interview is going to be pretty intense. I think that I will be asked some trick questions. Hi. Oh my god, I just, I don't know what's going on with this couple. Bring me my red bag with my bad cop! Hey, you guys looking forward to getting married? Yeah. Why you, why you looked at me first? I don't know, I wanted to see your reaction. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Definitely. Oh my god. So the producer asked them... Uh, are you looking forward uh, to get married? And then George was so, so enthusiastic. He was like, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And then she was like, definitely. 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 Bring me my red bag with my bad cop! My God, they're a psychopath. Both of these are psychopath. There has to be a limit. Ten thousand. Don't make me laugh. Well, I guess we're not be reasonable. So, Anfisa, tell me a little bit about what you're looking for. 
I don't want like a big dress. I just want something straight. <laughs> so she wants a ten thousand dollar allowance every month. Holy! That would show off my curves. Okay. Um, I want lace. Why? What about price point? What are you comfortable with? Uh, what is your most expensive dress? <laughs> um, our look. Oh, what is your most expensive dress? <laughs> Most expensive dress would be $45,000. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the same, we have the same reaction. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Good luck to that $45,000. When George asked me to come to the States, I said yes. He promised to get me whatever I want. Whatever makes you happy. Now that I'm here, he keeps telling me that he... Well, in fairness to her, he always he's always telling her whatever makes you happy, whatever makes you happy. And then, of course, whatever makes her happy is the most expensive dress. And then I was like, oh, I can't afford it. I can't. Don't say that to her because she's expecting it. Jeez. Can't afford everything. Uh, Told you this couple is a psychopath. And there are things that are more important. Okay. I just want to make you happy. He said it again. He said it again. I just want to make you happy. And that's what makes her happy. The most expensive ring. The most expensive gown. Don't roll your eyes at me. The duck face again. The fake lips. <laughs> okay. Well, I think maybe it might be some time to maybe just go home, think about it. All right, honey, come on in. I've come all this way to be with George, and now he can't even get me the dress I want. But they always say, whatever makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Come on, Ati. He was trying to kiss her, and he was, she was like, don't kiss me. I'm mad at you. No, obviously, I don't have 20,000 in cash right now. So it's not my problem. Of course, it's not your problem. You're not the one who's going to pay for it. It's not your problem. So it's not your problem? Yes. And she's just very controlling. Um, she likes to be bossy. Um, and I kind of like that. I kind of like her firmness of... Uh, you know, her standing her ground, but I'll also stand my ground too. So, you know, that, that's where conflict comes into play. Absolutely. Exactly. Why did you bring her there to the most expensive place? Um, yeah. Why would you just bring her to, you know, like regular, you know, uh, bridal uh, stores that doesn't have like a $45,000 dress? And then now she picked the most expensive gown and then you're going to tell her, oh, I can't afford it. I can't afford it. But I, but he always said, I just want to make you happy. I just want to make you happy. It's not that I'm not ready, but... You're not ready. It's not that I'm not ready. I'm just saying that it's... Not that I'm just not ready. I just don't have the money to buy everything that you wanted. Like a forty-five dollar gown and a three hundred dollar uh, ring. Can I just be straightforward and not like, oh, yes, and yeah, no. I mean, that's straightforward. All right, so the straightforward part is that you want expensive things, and it's you know hard for me. Because you promised her, you promised her that, so it's your fault. You're the one to blame. You promised her. I just wanted you to be happy. I just wanted you to be happy. Keep up. That's all I can say. <laughs> it's always nice talking to you. Bring me my red bag with my bag top. Oh, there you go. You get a good deal. Fifty percent off from three hundred thousand dollars to one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Good deal. It's a five. <laughs> it was like, well, still can't afford it. <laughs> Garrett, I know where we're sitting.
saying three. <laughs> yeah, we moved to five really quick. <laughs> the smile on her face. I was like, this. Up to there. <laughs> three hundred thousand dollar ring. <laughs> I think the ring shows how much he loves me. Of course. Yeah. That's how much he loves you. $300,000 ring. But, mm, now. <laughs> if he proposed to me with some cheap ring, I think I'm not going to marry him. That's, that's too much. No. Happy wife, happy life. It was like, that's too much. No, it's not. Of course. Because you're not going to be the one who's going to pay for that. You're not, you're not paying for it. It's him. So it's no. No for you. Not going into your wallet. <laughs> Is there a comfortable budget that we'd like to sort of stay under? We've kind of had a budget. That evil look. <laughs> From 35 to 45. Thousand? Thousand. Oh, and then she raised her eyebrow. Stick, we can find comfortable things. This is so funny. Like, what do you think about this? It's so hilarious. I'm so entertained. Still nothing worse than the ring, but. It's like, Tch. 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 Tch.